Well, hello there, my fellow Sanders. Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I will be telling you everything you need to know about Flux in Fallout 76 as of 2023. So, before we start, make sure that you sub with the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start the video. So, Flux is one of the most essential things to stockpile in Fallout 76, as you'll use it for many, many different things. For example, you'll need it to craft mutation serums, prime ammo, power armor parts and even trading people usually use flux as a currency to trade decent gear and weapon and so it's genuinely good to have a surplus of flux in your inventory so you might ask how do you obtain flux well you can obtain it by traveling to a nuke zone or launch a nuke yourself and then travel there these red zones on the map are the nuke zones if you don't know and here you can harvest different plants to obtain flux. In order to farm flux, first, whenever you harvest these plants, you'll obtain unstabilized flux or raw flux. And it comes in five different forms, raw cobalt, raw crimson, raw violet, raw yellow cake, and raw fluorescent. You can look at their colors, it's kind of obvious which is which. You'll also need hardened mass, high radiation fluid, and glowing mass in order to stabilize the flux. As you can see here, you will need these three to stabilize your flux. You can get these by killing enemies in the nuke zone. Just remember, these are not guaranteed. Enemies can randomly drop any one of these, so keep that in mind. And now let me show you how you can actually do it. I'm gonna fast travel to this nuke zone. This is the most common nuke zone in the map. People usually nuke this spot to kickstart the Scorch Earth event as it's one of the better events in Fallout 76. You can also participate in the event itself you can kill a lot of enemies there to potentially obtain the hardened mass, high radiation fluid, and the glowing mass before you actually farm the flux itself. So afterwards, let us look around and try to farm some flux. And before that, I forgot to mention this, make sure that you have this perk equipped, the green thumb perk, as it doubles the amount of flux that you could get per run. Also make sure that you do this while in a power armor or having a decent amount of radixes in your inventory as you'll get a lot of radiation in the nuclear zones. So now let us farm some flux, as you can see you'll gain raw flux from harvesting these plants. You can also kill random enemies here, as you can see to potentially obtain different types of masses or the high radiation fluid. Also, I forgot to mention this, hardened mass, high radiation fluid and glowing mass don't spoil, meaning that you could potentially do the Scorched Earth event a few times, stockpile some of these masses and high radiation fluids and then farm some flux, as this way you'll get much more flux out of it. Also, one thing that is important to note is that if you're looking to craft a certain type of flux where maybe you can't find much of it in this common nuke zone, you can use this map and nuke an area that is the most beneficial to you. And there are some exploits that you could do to potentially increase the amount of mass that you get, but Bethesda tends to patch these pretty quickly and so I won't be showing you any of them. Also, I forgot to mention Make sure that you have the super duper perk equipped when you're crafting flux as flux is very expensive. I think it goes for about 500 caps a piece somewhere in that line. So having the super duper perk equipped means that you could potentially get a lot more flux while crafting flux. And yeah, this is pretty much everything that I could have covered about it. And as a solo, I don't recommend you launch nukes yourself. You'll use a lot of ammo, a lot of stem packs to launch a nuke. Either do it in a group or just wait on your server for a few hours and someone usually launches a nuke. Unless you're looking to farm a certain type of flux, which in that case, you can join my discord server link in description text me there and I can help you launch your nuke and that is pretty much everything that I can cover about flux if you have any questions left feel free to ask me in the comment section or join my discord server link in description and I will catch you on our next video take care guys